Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. The following example introduces some of the features of Bex's LE slope stability. In this tutorial, we will be looking at the slope stability probabilistic analysis capabilities based on a published case history. The probabilistic analysis results from the slope stability using the Monte Carlo method and one dimensional spatial variability are demonstrated in this example. The cohesion and friction angle values of the soil layers are used as random variables. The results of the slope stability analysis are obtained through ordinary Fellenius Bishop simplified and the Jumbo simplified method. It will be assumed in the slope stability model that all the probabilistic input variables are normally distributed. So let's get started. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a slope underlined by multiple horizontal soil layers as shown in this picture. The following steps will be required in order to set up the model described in the in this video. The steps fall under the general categories of creating the model, specifying analysis settings, entering the geometry, applying material properties, then defining the random variables, specifying search method geometry, specifying spatial variability of slices, analyzing the model and finally viewing the results. The following steps are required to create the model. In the Plexus LE Manager, go to the Models and click on Create New Model. You can select the project name, select the module as slope stability, system to 2D, units to metric, slip direction from left to right and you can give the model a name press ok in slope stability the settings dialog is used to specify the method for determining the critical slip surface and the details of the search techniques used in the analysis. For this model, the settings will be entered as follows. Select Model, Settings. Move to the Slip Surface tab and make sure the following settings are selected. Slip direction is from left to right. Slip shape is circular. Search method is grid and point. Next, move to the Calculation Methods tab and select the following limit equilibrium methods. Then move to the Sensitivity and Probability tab and select Probabilistic Analysis. The Probabilistic Parameters box becomes available. The sampling method to be selected is Monte Carlo, number of samples 30,000 and generator seed as 500. We also have the critical slip surface location box which has two options fixed and floating fixed means that the critical slip surface is searched based on the average soil properties and the location is fixed for all the remaining calculations floating on the other hand allows the location of the critical slip surface to change on every single Monte Carlo alteration this takes much longer as each iteration involves a searching but it is a more thorough way of analyzing the probability of failure. Now press OK to save these settings and close this dialog. Model geometry is defined as a set of regions. The user may enter geometry by either drawing on the CAD, using the dynamic input method, cut and paste data, or you may import geometry from an existing model. The cut and paste will be presented next. The model will be divided into five regions, which are named R1 through R5. 
each region will have one of the materials specified as its material properties. The shapes that define each material region will now be created. Note that when drawing a geometry shape, information will be added to the region that is current in the region selector. The region selector is at the top of the workspace. Now let's define regions R1 through R5. First go to geometry and select regions from the menu. Click new in the regions dialog four times to add regions R2 to R5. Double click the row with R1 to bring up the region properties or select the properties button. Click the new polygon button on the right to bring up the new region polygon dialog. Copy the data that you have for the coordinates of this polygon and paste them here. Press OK to close the new region polygon dialog. Similarly, repeat these steps for all the regions. The next step in defining the model is to enter the material properties for the materials that will be used in the model. This section will provide instructions on creating the embankment material and the other materials underlying the embankment. Open the materials dialog by selecting materials and then manager from the menu. Click the new button to create a material. Enter the name embankment For the material name, choose more coulomb for the method for this material. Press OK to close the dialog. The material properties dialog will open automatically. Move to the shear strength tab and enter the parameter values as cohesion as 0 and friction angle of 20. Uh, 30 degrees. Unit weight of 20. Click OK to close the material properties dialog. Similarly, create the next material. So this way we have created all the five layers for the model. Once all the material properties have been entered, you must apply the materials to the corresponding regions. To do that, open the region properties dialog by selecting geometry, region properties. Check that you have region R1 selected. In the region settings section, under material, choose embankment. Move to the next region. So make sure that you had region R1 selected as embankment. For region R2, we will assign clay crust. R3 will be assigned marine clay. R4 will be assigned like a stream clay and R5 is the bedrock. We can press OK to close the dialog and save the changes. In order to perform the probabilistic analysis, we must enter the standard deviation and relative 
minimum and maximum values for each random variables to define the statistical distribution. So to do that, open the probabilistic parameters dialog by selecting materials, probabilistic parameters from the menu. Open the add remove probabilistic parameters dialog by clicking the add remove button on the lower left side. In this dialog, expand the embankment parameters and check phi and innovate as random variables. Expand the marine clay and lacustrine clay and check C as the random variable. Press OK. Now you can edit these values for the mean standard deviation relative minimum and maximum values in this dialog. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to use a standard deviation of 1 for the embankment, phi, relative minimum and maximum as 5. And for the unit weight of the embankment, we're going to use a standard deviation of 1 and 5 and 5. Similarly, for the marine clay, we use the standard deviation of 8.14 for the cohesion value, 24.42 and 24.42. And similarly, for the lacustrine clay, we're going to use standard deviation of 8.65, 26, total 5 for the relative minimum, and 26 total 5 for the relative maximum. Press the OK button to accept the changes and close the dialog. The grid and point method for searching for the critical slip surface has already been selected in the previous step. Now the user must specify the job and reader defines the search method. This is accomplished through the following steps. Open the grid and point dialog to the slips Grid and point menu option. Select the grid tab, enter the values of the grid. A 5.9, as the upper and lower left values. Similarly for the point, enter the values of the coordinates for the point, which is going to be the tangent point of the slip circles. The next step is to enable spatial variability. This is accomplished to the following steps. Select model, settings from the menu. Select the spatial variability tab. In the spatial variability option, select 1D spatial variability option. Choose each slice and press OK to close the dialog. The next step is to analyze the model. To do that, go to the Solve at the top menu, click on Analyze, and Save and Continue. The calculation will start automatically. Once the calculation is completed, we can view the results by clicking Visualize Results. This will open up the output in which we see factor of safety of 1.418 displayed for this slope. The factor of safety and the slip circle that is displayed is for the calculated for the mean value of all parameters. In this Monte Carlo simulation, a series of model runs are performed with a random sampling of each normally distributed input parameter. The set of random input Variables are obtained using random number generators that produce the selected probability density function. 
To view the probability density function, select graphs and click on Monte Carlo from the menu. Here we see the probability density function. To view the histogram of results, we can go to the top menu and from this drop down, select histogram. This will display the histogram results of the factor of safety. Also, we can select the calculation method as already Bishop or Jambu, which we specified in the input, and we have the calculated results available to view them right here. If we close this window, we can see in this slope information box that we have the probability of failure displayed right here, 0.0333%. To note is that for the same factor of safety to have we can have multiple and different probabilities of failure depending on the standard deviation of the input parameters. Thank you for watching this video.